All right, so first we're gonna start over with the Disneyland Railroad. We're gonna get on and we're gonna head over to New Orleans Square because we're gonna go to the Blue Bayou. We finally got reservations after a long time and we want you guys to come along. So let's get on the train, come on. Here it comes. It's coming. <laughs> there it is. All right. <laughs> How does it feel to be back on the train? It feels good. I've been right? on the train such a long time. <laughs> I know. And uh, right now we're just going to ride it to New Orleans Square, but I think next time we have to ride it all the way around Disneyland. I have to get my pictures in. <laughs> short ride huh yeah but we made it to new orleans yes Square. and i'm hungry so let's Me start too. this thing all right thank you to the disneyland railroad we made it back to new orleans Me square <laughs> so we're running a little late our reservations were supposed to be at 7 30 at 7 36 now we're running <laughs> a little bit late remember that we didn't do an intro so oh. <laughs> why don't you guys join us to this awesome magic journey here we go here it is the blue bayou yes i know today we're going to be dining at the blue bayou let's go look at this place just as beautiful as I remembered. Thank you. Wow! <laughs> it's the first time we sit here by the water. Yeah, so. it's the first time. Yeah, very exciting. Thank you. So one of the cast members that watches our videos, his name is Arthur. Really cool cast member. Thank you so much. He got us a seat yes, next to the so water. Much. That's so cool. Uh, Arthur, if you're watching this, thank you. We've never sat by the water before. Every time we've been into this restaurant, we've always sat somewhere back there. And this is the first time we get to dine by the water, by the bayou. So thank you for that Disney magic. <laughs> so when you sit down, you get greeted with these awesome menus. But look what I just found, you guys. I know this is probably lame, but I think it's so cool. There's a little light inside the menu now. <laughs> it's pretty dark in here. It in every restaurant, I'm telling you. <laughs> the, older, the older I get, the more it's harder for me to see. Look. Wow. That's good because it is pretty dark in here and having a little bit of light does help. It does and also because you don't have to use your phone for their flash. They're yeah. all like very bright and it's very distracting. They added it for you. Yes. Very cool. That's so cool. I love it. <laughs> Little simple things like that, you know, make me happy. <laughs> I think I'm going to start first with the chicken gumbo for a starter. It's pretty good. It's delicious and it's a classic here at the Blue Bayou and you're at, uh, you know, the Blue Bayou. So chicken gumbo is the way to go. I'm starting off with the blue bayou salad because it is light and I want to start with something lighter because my entree, we're going to get a few entrees and I want to be able to eat those entrees. But did you see that they have alcohol now? They serve alcohol. Yeah, they added alcohol. They added a new drink called the Hurricane, yes. which we need to try. I know they have wine, they have beer, they have mm. non-alcoholic drinks, which that 31 Royal Street signature julep is calling my name. <laughs> That's what you're going to get? Yeah. All <laughs> right. Good. All right. So they have a few starters like the heirloom tomato and watermelon salad, $14. The Hurricane is what I'm really, really excited to try. This is their signature cocktail here at the Blue Bayou, so that's one I want to get. But I think, like I said, I'm going to start with the chicken gumbo. Uh, these are all the introductions that you can get here. Some people are probably going to like the Escaviche. Janelle's kind of tempted in that, weren't you? I know, I was looking at the Blue Bayou salad, but now we've got the Escaviche. Mm. Should I just get that? Let's I don't know, it. it's up it. to you. Something new, let's get it, let's get it. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of shooting stars on like going like this. If you get lucky, maybe you'll see one. How many yeah, have you seen already? I've seen like three already. I, I saw one before you started recording. I went like this and then I saw you recording like, oh man, you missed it. <laughs> well, I haven't seen any yet. So I just got to look up a little bit. And maybe yeah, I'll find I just put the camera on top and then you'll catch one. All right, let's see if we can find a star for them to wish on. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I got the 31 Royal Street Mint Julep. You guys, so they're seasonal, like they've changed out throughout. So with this one right now, it's blood orange, she said. So I'm excited. You can't come to the Blue Bayou and not get a mint julep, right? That is very true. <laughs> oh, good choice. That's delicious. Something about a mint julep being on this delicious, what would you call this? Like a, like a cup? 
cup, glass. It's like a aluminum cup. Aluminum cup. I don't know what you'd call it. It just it hits different. It's so refreshing. It's nice and that blood orange is like not tart but like sweet, which is nice and I love it. So cheers. Clink. <sighs> refreshing. Ooh. Ooh. That's the hurricane. Thank you. Oh. Look at that. So this is the hurricane that you can get here at the Blue Bayou. It's your signature dish. I mean, dish. <laughs> this signature <laughs> drink. <laughs> it's like signature dish too. I, I get guess. a little too excited sometimes. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yes. Yeah. All right. So this is the Hurricane cocktail. Now this is Bacardi Reserve Oka Rum, Myers Original Dark Rum, Simply Orange, uh, and it's got passion fruit puree, grenadine, lime juice, uh, and a little orange slice on top. There's a lot in this drink for sure. I'll tell you that. Uh, but if you drink this. You're gonna know that you're one of the people that can only drink this here at Blue Bayou. You can't get it anywhere else in this resort. Can't wait to try this out. Wow. So it is sweet, but it has a nice taste of orange. It's a little bitter because of that, and it's balanced out perfectly. I do love the fact that I do taste the rum. It's it's a Blue Bayou drink. You could only get this here. So if you're walking around the park, you get to say, hey. I got myself a hurricane, a signature drink at the Blue Bayou that no one else can get on this resort. That is cool. Try it out for yourself because they're very tasty. All right, so this is the chicken gumbo. And this is another dish that you could get at Cafe Orleans. But this one here has tassel ham and dewy sausage, peppers, tomatoes, and steamed rice. One of my favorite things to get here at the Blue Bayou has always been the chicken gumbo. I just, I love it so much. Let's get in here. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Oh yeah, let's get a little bit of rice and some chicken. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my gosh, that's good. <laughs> okay, I love the spices they put in the gumbo. It's so flavorful, it's savory. The chicken is juicy and the rice is perfectly cooked. I love this very much. If you're coming to the Blue Bayou, I really suggest, as a starter, you go with the gumbo. It's very good and you're gonna love it. So my starter, instead of going with the Blue Bayou salad, I got the Hearts of Palm Escabiche. It has tomatoes, it has olives, it has paprika dressing. It also has some cauliflower. I think we should just dig in and go for it. I don't think I've ever had Escabiche or like this before, so that's the first. <laughs> You guys, so this salad is delicious. It's not bad, but I wouldn't get it again just because there's nothing to like wow me, you know what I mean? But that gumbo looks delicious. I do like the paprika dressing. I like the cauliflower, it's nice and crunchy. The olives has a little extra saltiness, and the tomatoes are nicely fresh. All the ingredients are fresh, but it's not something to be like, you know what I mean? You don't think it's worth it? I don't think it's worth it. I think that gumbo is worth it though. I the had gumbo, a, you know. I have a little, like, a little bit of that before we started filming this part. Janelle, get in there. Come I already on. did. <laughs> so good. Mm. That's all. Oh my goodness, but I'm still gonna enjoy this, have a good time with it, but I wouldn't get it again just because it's just me. <laughs> I think the Blue Bayou salad they had here is much better. Yeah, just get the regular salad. Let me tell you guys, the ambience here is phenomenal. It's one of the only uh, restaurants where you can eat inside of an attraction right across from us is Pirates of the Caribbean. And this is honestly one of the last restaurants I'd probably have to say that Walt Disney actually worked on. So it's really cool that you're in a part of history here. And uh, if you've never been to the Blue Bayou, I suggest making reservations. I know it's a little hard, but keep trying. Wait till 3 a.m. That's usually when the reservation system kicks in and drops in new reservations when you're 60 days out. So try that and trust me, you're gonna be very happy dining here. Now, I remember before when we used to dine at Blue Bayou, they used to give you free bread. Remember that? No, now they don't. <laughs> and there might be reasons why. I know some people were doing some naughty things with that bread. Shouldn't have done it because then things like this happen. We don't get bread anymore. Yeah, see? they took our bread away. <laughs> uh, but uh, hopefully Disney reconsiders, brings back the bread because it was so good. It was yes. great for dipping into the gumbo. I know, the gumbo and or, or even your dishes too. Mm -hmm. oh, thinking about it, it just makes me my mouth is drooling. Stop it. I don't want to finish all my hurricane yet. I'm kind of bathing it a little bit because I can't wait to get my filet mignon. I know. I'm like halfway done with my green tulip. So I'm like, I'm going to wait. <laughs> that, that's it there for a minute. Even though it's tempting because you're like, 
Yeah. It's so good. It's huh? like, I don't want to drink it all because I know I'm not going to buy another one. They're kind of pricey. So I'm saving this one. I'm saving it. I like what the glass it comes in. Right? P perfect, typical hurricane. Yeah, it's very, very pretty. <laughs> right over here, this is the filet mignon. Look at that beautiful cut of steak there, and it's mid rare. That's the temperature it's going to be. And these are the patatas. Now, this is supposed to have. Uh, arugula, it's supposed to have tomatoes, basil, it's got a lot on there, and olive oil. Wow! I'm really excited to cut into this. This is what I was most excited for all day. This is all I wanted, some delicious steak. Ooh. Look at that. Perfectly mid-rare. <laughs> it's got a nice sweetness to it. It's tender, it's juicy. I haven't tried this yet. I want to see what this is. All right, we're going to grab a little bit of everything here. So the top part, that's olives, and it's very strong. It's very olive forward, but it is great, and it complements that steak very well. It's a very tasty dish. And right over here, you have your patatas, which is potatoes with spinach and tomato underneath. You're not crunchy. It's just melting in your mouth. Wow. Very good, I'll tell you that. Try and get the filet mignon. It's a great for a date or just if you're here by yourself and you want to try some tasty food. The Blue Bayou guys. The Blue Bayou. So I got the sustainable market fish and right now it's an ahi tuna which looks really refreshing and delicious. It also has some herbs, some tomatoes, it has um, a coconut, mango coconut beurre blanc. It's a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> but here we go. I'm going to try a little bit of this rice first. See how that goes. Ooh, I think there's like mint leaves in there. Fun. Number blanc. It's like coconut forward. <laughs> here we go. Put some little bit of lime lime on here. Oh my gosh. The ahi tuna is like butter. It like melted right in my mouth. A little bit of that lime on it actually brings out the coconut and the mango flavor, which is really nice. And the rice on top. A lot of hint of, of um, coconut, but not too overwhelming. It's just a nice touch. But that mint leaves actually brings up the coconut and the lime. So if you're looking for something light, yeah, that gets you kind of filled. Get yourself this ahi cinnamon fish. It's delicious. It's it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yes. The wonderful world of Monte Cristo. Mmm. <laughs> We're still hungry, so you ordered another entree. You got the Monte Cristo, and I got the pesto pasta. The pistachio. Let me look at the menu again. I took a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so my second entree, I got a fava bean pistachio pesto pasta. It has squash blossom, it has pistachio, asparagus, arugula. Oh my god, I think we should just dig in. We it's go. a pretty looking pasta. Right? The color. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Oh, turned on that. Hot? <laughs> it's hot. Oh no. I can tell when Janelle likes something. As soon as she takes a bite, it takes her a second to be like, oh my yeah. goodness, this is good. It almost has like that citrusy taste, a citrusy creamy taste. It's a little subtle though, which is really nice. And I think it's because of the squash blossom. You have the tomatoes, which look like really fresh. And look at these asparagus, you guys. They're big chunks of asparagus. Normally they have little, little asparagus <laughs> like that tiny, but they ain't kidding. I really like this dish. You don't taste the pistachio at all, but the pesto, pasta, and fava bean. Whoever created this dish, I need you to tell me the recipe, how you did it, so I can make it at home because it is awesome. Very good. Yes. Cafe Orleans is probably known for making the Monte Cristo popular, but let me tell you, this is where it came from. This is going to be ham and turkey fried in batter, so it's kind of like a donut. It's got cheese in there, and right over here, we have some strawberry salad, and that's a seasonal salad that comes with the Monte Cristo, and right here, you have your vanilla anglaise and some jam and that's going to go on top of the Monte Cristo. This I'm excited for. I just powdered sugar on this. I have to be careful. I'm very bad at powdered sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows. So let's look inside one of these guys. Let's pick one up. Oh there it is. There's that turkey, some cheese. Wow. Alrighty, we're going to try it on its own first guys. And then we're gonna add the strawberry and then the vanilla on place. Here we go. Cheers. 
This is ham and cheese. Think of it like a croissant. It's got ham, it's got cheese, and uh, on the outside, it's kind of like a donut pastry that has been fried. I can picture myself eating this more for lunch than I can for dinner. <laughs> but uh, let's try it with some of that vanilla anglaise. Here we go. Let's add that on top. Ooh. All right, and there's some strawberry jam right on top. Here we go. That's what makes it pop. Oh, okay, this is delicious on its own. It's very savory, it's balanced, it works together. And honestly, this is one of Disneyland's most iconic dishes. If you wanna try it yourself, come over to the Blue Bayou Cafe Orleans, try them out, you will not be disappointed. And hey, you get to say I got to trace the Monte Cristo at Disneyland. So I got myself a chocolate layered coffee cake. It has vanilla chantilly cream and a compote on there. It also has which is really fancy, a marshmallow caviar. The little, little little balls right there, look, you see them? Wow. I was like, what? That's the only pearls? caviar I like. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. The mm. Get a bit of, of the... It's a very pretty treat. Right? Here we go. Clink. Mm. Let me tell ya. That is a thick chocolate. The coffee notes is like really, really exquisite. I love it. It's yummy. If you're craving something like this, get yourself this cake. It's, it's delicious. It's no dark bright chocolate but it is a fancy chocolate layered coffee cake. That's like you did the dessert you like compare every other dessert to. Because it's the <laughs> best the dessert ever. Oh my like gosh. I don't know, like that should be in a fancy restaurant. That's not what it is. The Darth by chocolate? Yeah. All right. You know? She said that. I said that. <laughs> All right, so this beautiful dish here is the creme brulee. And on top right there, you have a little praline cookie. You have some berries and right in the back there, you have some so fresh pretty. cream, right? That's very, very nice. But of course, with every creme brulee, you have to crack it. That's tradition. Here we go. We're not even cracking though, because everything's in the way. Wait, stop. There we go. Everything's okay, in the way. Shot. How about right over here? We'll crack it here. You ready? Yes. All right, here we go. Ooh, yes. All right, we're going to get some of that, some berries here in the back. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> mm. Nice and caramelized on the top, the way it should be. It's crispy, and the berries are just an extra touch of sweetness. Now you do get a little praline cookie here. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a creme brulee with a praline cookie on top. That is good, guys. Let me tell you, Janelle's cake looks good, but I'm gonna go on and say that I think this is better. I think that looks really good. I like the presentation, the berries on top, the little crack of the sugar on top, the vanilla chantilly Ooh, cream, right there. Look the that. custard itself, it's so, it looks really good. So, it is I don't really good. blame you. <laughs> okay, now I've tried both desserts. Which one do you think is better? The creme brulee for sure. Creme brulee for sure. I say the same. <laughs> it's really good. Custard is tasty. Oh my gosh. I kind of want another one, but no, because the bill is getting a little too expensive. <laughs> it's getting yeah. too big now. But uh, let me tell you guys, if you've never dined at the Blue Bayou before, it's something you definitely have to do. So, you know, jump on those reservations, try to get one. I know it's hard, but keep trying because if there's anything we want you to try, it's the Blue Bayou. It's a whole different experience. It's definitely the Disneyland experience and you're definitely gonna learn. <laughs> If you're ever at New Orleans Square, you have to check out the shops. They have this cool crystal of New Orleans shops. It's so bright in here. Yeah. Wow. wow. Thank you, little Dumbo. Look at that. <laughs> little Dumbo made in glass. Look at, look at this rose. Wow. There's Mickey and Minnie back there. All this stuff is beautiful, but I'm sure very pricey. Tiara. I don't yeah, a lot of the shops tiara? here have very interesting stuff. There's Ooh, tiaras. You get a tiara, and look, it says with interchangeable center stones. The tiara is 47. The stones are 12, so you can change the stones. <gasps> oh wow! I want one. Yay. That's pretty cool. It's right there. Yeah, hidden Mickey tiaras and scepters. So you could also get a scepter and they have the interchangeable center stones. That's very cool. Do you guys get the idea? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Look at these little figures. These are $29. Made of glass. Look at this. It's the lamp. It's so cool. They have other figures too right there. They have Bambi. You can see right there where I get to focus. Here's Bambi. Stitch. 
That's really, really cool. I'm coming to the crystal shop because I just found out that you can buy tiaras and change the stones, like a little hidden Mickey stone. And the, the scepters too. And the scepters too. Yeah, and they have little nice glass figurines that you could buy. Some are pretty cheap. They're about $29 that you could take one home. And then uh, they have other figures that you could buy that are far more expensive. Oh, yeah. But you can also have <laughs> custom made glasses done here. Like you can put your name on it nice. and your birth date and all that cool stuff. That's awesome. Some wine glasses? Maybe. For some reason, I thought you meant like glasses, glasses. Well, not glasses, glasses, <laughs> but like wine glasses, glasses and, cups. and cups. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. So, yeah, check it out, you guys. Another shop that I like to go into, which is not open right now, is the Mir Antoinette's Perfumery. Look, over okay. <laughs> here. She loves the shop. It's closed now, but if you go in there, the smell in there is so delicious. And it's it's like they have Guerlain, they have a lot of different perfumes in there. I just wish it was open. <laughs> but it's not. It's closed right now. But if you go in there, you get the aroma of like different smells. And I believe they have samples, right? That they you can have samples yeah, too. Mm -hmm. You can smell nice all day here at Disneyland. Yes. <laughs> and the vibes in there, you guys, get a few pictures in there. It's a thing. It's the whole thing. So you go right now for Fantasmic. I think we should ride Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, it's only right. I mean, we have to. We did do Blue Bayou today. Yes, I think so. we should do it. It's only 15 minutes. It must be done. <laughs> Here we go. 15 minutes. Pirates of the Caribbean. So Pirates has recently opened. The last time we got to ride this, we were here with Dave and Liz of Fresh Bake. It was the first time we got to ride it since they reopened. It was really fun. It was a lot of fun. But it wasn't during the opening. It was actually a few days after. As soon as you walked in, I could just smell the water. It's Pirates Caribbean territory now. Ah, it's the most delicious. <laughs> all right, we're about to get on. We're gonna wait for the next boat. And we're gonna sit all the way in the back. <laughs> so in the back so we don't disturb people with the filming. Yeah. Also, because you get to feel the sensation more. <laughs> the drop is a lot bigger in the back. <laughs> all right, here we go. Careful not to fall. <laughs> may I join you? Yes, you may. Good. I love this ride. And especially yeah. after dining at Blue Bayou. What is your favorite attraction at Disneyland? Let me know in the comments below. Pirates? Space Mountain? What is it? Let me know. Fantasmic is going on. Fantasmic. Best time too. Good old Mickey right over there on the stage. Exciting day at the Blue Bayou. Now, if you guys want to dine at the Blue Bayou, I really recommend you make reservations. Oh my gosh, the fireworks are going crazy. <laughs> Whoa. What were you saying? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we had a fantastic time inside of the Blue Bayou. Now, the cast members inside, guys, are going to take care of you. They're all phenomenal cast members. Uh, they really make the magic happen, I'll tell you that. If you guys have like any, like, I don't know, maybe you have a request to sitting by the water, you can always ask. Most of the time they'll accommodate, sometimes they won't because it can get pretty busy. Today was one of the days where it wasn't so crazy, so they were able to accommodate us, which is really cool, so thank you, Arthur. And uh, wow, that dinner was good. Now let me tell you, if you wanna to come to the Blue Bayou, again, you wanna make sure you make those reservations because it can get a little tough to try to dine in here. But we did it today, we got lucky we had reservations, and we said, you know what, we're bringing you guys along. And I hope you guys had a great time because we did and I'm like stuck. But I just want to say thank you guys for watching our videos. We love you. We've got more videos coming up. So I hope you guys are excited for that. But we'll see you guys here next time on Magic Journeys. Bye.